back to my channel. So today um, I'm making something different. Uh, it is a slow cooker recipe. Um, so it is a uh, beef and broccoli in a slow cooker. Uh, I've not made it before, so uh, hopefully this is gonna be nice. So I am rushing a bit because I am booked for the cinema at uh, 11.45. So I need to quickly put all this in the slow cooker, whack it on and head down to the cinema so we're gonna see bad boys so um let's get cracking right guys so this is pretty much like it so diced beef here we got onion beef stock garlic and honey and a bit of soy sauce so first of all i need to chop up the garlic and the onion so that's what i'm gonna do now i find it's just a, a quick way of breaking it up there we go now all i do is just um Chop the ends off. I'm going to use all this garlic, so I don't really need it all. So here we go. I'm going to start on the onion as well. Well, it's one onion you need. Um, I will read out there what you need. I have the recipe written down. Um, so what you need, uh, 500 grams of diced beef, uh, one onion, two, two or three garlic cloves, 400 millilitres of beef stock, 60 ml of soy sauce, one tablespoon of honey, two tablespoons of corn flour or cornstarch, and uh, that's pretty much all you need really. And your broccoli, but I'm doing my broccoli different. I'm actually gonna not put broccoli in with it. I'm gonna, um, cook it separately um, so yeah that's all the ingredients that you need I mean some people they put brown sugar in theirs and they use sesame oil but I'm not using any of that um, that's pretty much it I'm just using three cloves and I'm uh, crushing it Stick that in the slow cooker. And then next is going to be the onion. I like my machine's finished as well. So late. So yeah, I mean, this is a new new one for me. Um, so hopefully it's nice. So I'm, I am getting better at the onion chopping. I am lazy. I do have frozen onion in in the uh, in the uh, freezer, but I want to use up my onion what I got here because fresh onion. I don't want to, you know, waste money. We're throwing a bag of onions away. Yeah, I'm gonna whack in the old beef now as well. I'm using bag because I'm lazy, so it's cleaning. So we go on my one tablespoon, so one tablespoon of honey. Actually, I won't do honey yet. I'll do the corn flour actually. And I think that is two tablespoons. So I'll just put this one. Or cornstarch, if you've got cornstarch. I think it's all the same really. Oh, 
about it. I don't think we had the gold stars yet. No, I don't. See, look, I mean, you made a mistake because I'm in a rush. I think we had that later on. See? I'm rushing around. So, it's going to be the honey. I love honey. I have it on my breakfast and everything. Add the beef. Onion, garlic stock. Soy sauce and honey. I'd rather use crumble to stock in, but you can't. So 400. Come on. Perfecto. Give that a good stir. I'm not measuring out the soy sauce, but for me, that's enough. And I believe all I'll do now is mix it up. Give it a good old mixy wixy. Now uh, there's two ways you can do this, you can do it on low, or you can do it on high. Now I'm going to do mine on low, obviously because I'm popping out. So I'm putting the lid on, and we are going to put it on a low, because I'm going to do mine a low for four to five hours. Or if you want it on a high and you are in a rush, you can do it on a high for three hours. So I'll catch you all in about four to five hours after the movie. Well guys, this weather's shit, isn't it? Raining hard. Um, so I've just got to the O2 now. There we are. There it is. Hi guys. So I'm back from the cinema, um, brilliant film. If you've not seen it, you should go and see it. It is pucker. Um, so I just had a quick check on dinner. Um, spending very nice. So not long left before I start stage two. But in the meantime, I need to pop to the shop to get the broccoli because I thought I had some and I don't. Let's sort out the broccoli. So I'm going to do this in a microwave, um, in a bowl with a bit of water, but I, uh, I forgot to buy some cream film, so I'll have to do mine without. In the microwave for about four minutes, I believe. As you can hear, it's getting ready, it's, uh, Step is 
I've added the cornstarch, the corn flour, cornstarch, whatever you're using. I'll show you why. As you can see, that is um, a bit too uh, liquefied. So I'm going to add in some cornstarch to get that nice and thick. See, look, that's one tablespoon. It's two. Then I'm going to give it a stir. Give it a good old stir up. Tell you what, this is, it smells really nice. And the reason I'm using uh, a bag is because I, oh, I don't really want to wash it up, so uh, it's easier to use a bag. You can get them from Wilkinson's, you can get them from Poundland, I think you get like 10 bags for a pound, something like that. So you can see, look, it's starting to pick up already. So I'm gonna leave this now for around half an hour. Alrighty, yo guys, I'm going to add a little something to this. Uh, I'm trying to find it, uh, bear with me. So, uh, let's just give it a little bit more, more flavour. Flavour, flavour. I can't find it, but I'm adding the bad boy. I'm going to add a bit of chilli flakes. Oh, I think that will do. I don't want it too hot. I'll just give that a stir. Oh yes, this is looking really fat. Look at that. Lovely. Thank you guys, we are now ready to serve, so. Here is my f my rice. Do you know what? I have not done enough rice, but never mind. It's because I run out. Right. This is all the rice. Oh my god. This is not good. It's not how I wanted it, but you gotta make do with what you got in stock. So that off. So we've got the rice. Now it's uh, let's get out the sauce. I'll just use this little spoon. Give it a quick stir. There we go. Right, I am now ready to serve that up. So I'm just going to use one ladle. Just get more. Oh, I'm going to get a bit more. I only had popcorn for lunch. At the cinema. There we go. And then we're going to add in the broccoli. Now, some people, they do it differently. They, uh, they actually put the broccoli in, mix it in together. I don't really want to do it like that. So, I'm just going to add it in and, in and around. I think that will do. Then, I'm just going to add some... Uh, spring onions and there we have it uh, there is my slukaka beef and broccoli recipe well guys that was a delicious meal uh, i highly recommend it um i will uh, add the recipe onto the description box so you can follow it um also it is freezable if you want to if you want to do your batch cooking and that's pretty much it a quick simple dinner so i'm gonna go and uh, chill out watch a bit of star trek so i'll catch you all soon bye